Today, we're going to be talking about trampoline park problems. So when you go to a trampoline park, you can expect at least one kid to act up or something to go wrong. Because a whole bunch of kids and jumping on trampolines and half of them with no parents in sight, something's going to happen. I'm, and I'm going to talk about when that something happened. So, I was going to a trampoline park and I was jumping, doing cool tricks, and I figured I should go play some dodgeball. Because I love dodgeball, I'm really good at it. I'm like, I want, I want to go play some dodgeball. So I go play some, so I'm playing dodgeball, and then the, oh no, then the supervisor, the minimum wage college student, leaves. So you only know what's going to happen. So, every, so it's basically a free-for-all. Kids are going over the line, smashing smashing balls into people's faces like throwing them full force like maniacs so i'm just like might as well play along i guess so i'm playing along no i'm not smashing people's faces but i'm just like playing normal dodgeball playing from my side and little and little timmy comes up and he he's about to do something. Now what little Timmy does is go past the line and throw the ball into this poor child's face. Now now this kid looks like he's about to destroy this poor kid's joke and just rip apart his soul and he does just that throws the ball like a meteor and it just crashes into his face and the kid goes flying and i can tell it probably hurt a lot he probably thought he went to another dimension for a second so yeah i'm like okay so that just happened and yeah it did just happen so it's still free for all. Some kids are actually go like or like going crazy, like jumping on people, and like I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is insane. So I'm just like, you know what? We're not gonna play uh, this anymore. So I leave the dodgeball ring. So another thing that happens at trampoline park is so. You know how those those trampoline things and some of the trampoline things are on the wall and like you can crawl up there or you can bounce off the wall? Well, some kids have the beautiful idea to jump on kids by running up there, bouncing off the wall and just smashing into them. So, this one kid is jumping is trying to smash into me actually and this is the funny part because oh my gosh now the kid misses his landing and well face plants into the trampoline and rest in peace poor young child so yeah i know this was a pretty short video um and I know this was a pretty short video, but I figured I could talk about this. So yeah, as you all know, going to a trampoline park, something's gonna go wrong, and stuff always does. And actually, I have one more story. One more story I have. It is... Well, so... Um... Um, I see out of the corner of my eye, um, a, a kid, and he is about to go off a zipline.
Now, some of you may have heard of this on the news, but this kid tries to go off the zip line, and supposedly they he was too heavy, or they didn't strap him in properly, but he falls 20 feet, smashes his rear ends into the floor, and hits his head on the ground. Now, as you all know, well, most of you do, this happened to, uh, uh, um, at, the, at a trampoline park on the news. Now, the kid's okay. He survived. He's good. But, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm never going on that zip line again. So, yeah. Never doing that again. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said, it was a short one. But, anyway, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment what your trampoline problem was. And, yeah, I'll see you next time. See ya.